Welcome back to Let's Play Global Shoujo. Right, uh, first things first, uh, actually, how long has it been? Maybe two days, maybe? But my anxiety has started acting up, and not only that, depression as well comes in, it's like... And for some reason, despite all that, I can still make a joke out of it by saying, like, depression and anxiety are a bit like Misha and Shizune, in that they're almost inseparable. Shut up, Bert. In that they're always together. I hate it. I don't know, I've, like, one thing about anxiety is it makes your teeth go lazy. I don't know, it's just a really uncomfortable feeling. It sucks. And the thing is, like, it'll just randomly shows up and then just as well it randomly goes away but while it's there it's freaking like I don't know how to describe it it's like it lingers like even after you like okay 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 relax relax it still lingers and so after this recording session I might take a break Ow! My ears from recording, essentially. But, whatever, I don't know. I just feel like shit, like stress and all that. Stress, anxiety, depression, all sorts of shit feelings. It's like my freaking mind is like, okay, let's focus all on negative right now. Why not? Why the hell not? And it sucks. And I think part the reason for that was the uh, Project Eva F second LP that I had planned, which I am going with. I've already done a recording for that, so I'll upload at some point. Maybe even today as a recording, but I don't know. So I'll be editing this. So I don't know if I'd end up editing that our video for it. Whatever, essentially I'm gonna say fuck that LP that I haven't even like well, I technically did start on it, but once I realized how much of a pain it would be to record it all, stress just overwhelmed me, and I don't think that's the only reason why I feel stressed out at all, just completely like shit. But I, it's definitely gonna be a reason there, and just like, so, just like, officially fuck that shit. Try to kind of like, get the weight off of that a bit. So, uh, yeah, uh... Anything else to say other than the fact that I feel absolutely like shit? Uh, can't think of anything. Let's get on with it. Oh yeah, I remember now. I went to the college day. And like, uh, finally on to the next part of that damn freaking learning Japanese course, right? The first course was easy, but it dragged on because I freaking ended up having to redo it with Firefox, as I said. Didn't freaking save it for some reason. So I had to go through time, so many times, fittingly enough. But this new one is quite a step up. It's not like just simply words and occasional phrases. It's freaking sentences all the way. And it's like, not only that, but now it's focusing a bit on the actual written language as well. So now I'm just like, ah, shit. Like, the quiz comes up and it's like, so, uh, which is the correct spelling for this word or something? It'll be like, ah, 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 so yeah, that's gonna take again. You soon next time I go to the college, I'm probably gonna have to freaking take notes. I didn't have to do that with the original one because it was kind of straightforward. But anyways, if you haven't been to town yet, have you? It'll be fun. We can see the sights and go to an amusement park. Maybe eat at a good restaurant. Didn't he? Wasn't this the exact same thing that he was like, nah? When Idiaki asked the same thing, we just had lunch. Even though I didn't eat much. It's okay, in that case we just uh, have to make sure that today is so busy that by the time we're done, it will be time for dinner. It works out perfectly! Come on, Hee-chan! They immediately flanked me and hooked my arms with theirs. Soon I take one arm and Misha take the other. At first we almost trip over each other. Shizune walks out a very uh, 
walks at a very brisk pace, but Misha and Misha was uh, 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 as an unusually bouncy way of moving around. We get the hang of it soon enough, uh, and I notice we go into town by cutting through the park. It doesn't seem efficient, so I'm guessing this is the scenic route. Walking this way hinders how we can communicate with each other significantly. I can't talk to Chizune at all. Chizune and Misha are down to one handy of gestures only. Feels nice though, so I don't mind too much. When I make a crack about it to Misha, she responds with mild confusion. Really, Hichan? Hmm, if you really want Shichan's attention, you can tell me, and then I can tap her on the shoulder for you. You could just let uh, me go, and I'll do it myself. How are you going to tap her on the shoulder from over there? Like this! She suddenly stops at her tracks roughly and tries to reach behind her back and across my shoulders to get Shizune's attention. She succeeds, but only because when Misha stopped, I had to as well, or we will fall over. Obviously, Shizune had to jerk to a halt too. The sight makes Misha let out one of her characteristic laughs, which shakes us around more, and Shizune starts flailing her free hand to get her to stop, which only causes her to laugh harder. It is pretty funny to watch her getting so flustered, and I start laughing too. What, really? That's bullshit! The freaking off screen, whatever the freaking hell are we gonna do? It was, that was Hype Man at the end of the previous part. He's like, let's go shopping. He didn't freaking on screen it. Now we're gonna have to deal with shitheads, aren't we? I mean, I'm really not looking forward to that. I mean, I feel like shit as it is. I've been neglecting my sign language studies, so I should probably spend some time studying up on it. Although I think I've learned a lot just by osmosis. Again with that word. Osmosis, osmosis. I'm still not fully sure what that word means. You know what? Okay, I'm gonna Google it again. Wait. <laughs> no wonder why I began this mixed up all along. I've been looking at the biology definition. So it's essentially like all to do with coming up with ideas and stuff. Just kind of like uh, how did it word it again? Ah, yeah. In an unconscious sort of way, I don't know. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm using this uh, word incorrectly, but... For example, when I play guitar, when I'm just randomly messing around, would that count as the same kind of thing? Because I'm just messing around, I'm not really, like, thinking much about it. I'm just kind of coming up with my own ideas as I go along. Would that count? Or just simply studying it? Does, I mean... It kind of seems a bit vague. Is it just to do with knowledge in general? Not just like, oh, just do this, and that. I don't know. Probably is just knowledge. Anyway, very proud of that, and I will have to be careful not to brag about it. Most of the books I brought with me aren't manuals on learning. Oh, wait, that might be it, because he's learning. He's self learning rather than having someone else teach him. He's got a book and he's just like, okay, I'm going to like look through here at all these sign language things, yes. Most of the books I brought with me aren't manuals on learning sign language, but studies about different signing dialects. That is very strange, isn't it? But then again, uh, it's probably only strange because, you know, if you actually did sign language your whole life and were deaf and stuff like that, it would seem pretty much completely normal because, well, that's that's how you communicate. But when you communicate by speaking, it becomes, you know, it's a bit different. But anyway, I know Shizune has some secret signals with Misha that only the two of them know the meaning of. After seeing a couple of them, this book uh, caught my eye in the school library. Maybe I should incorporate some examples into my own signing to mess with them, because I'm pretty sure that they have started using their code words more when I started learning sign language. That'll teach them. After a quick break for a shower, I resume practicing my signing in the guest room mirror. Yesterday, I crashed my fingers against each other pretty hard. It's still smart, and I don't want to repeat all of that to happen yet. It's the trap! I hear knocking on the door behind me and turn to find Hideaki standing inside the doorway, staring at me. How polite of him to knock, but usually you don't open the door first. You know, you say that, but honestly, I freaking don't... Well, actually, no, it's actually, uh... Oh. I think... 
like I said, my dad has the habit of that. Knocks on the door, opens the door. I think my brother does the same thing. I'm not sure about my mother. And I think my sister actually would knock on a door and wait for an answer before opening it as well. I think. Me, I, uh... What do I do, actually? I don't think I knock in general. <laughs> really? Well, that's because I don't really have a reason. It's like if I'm just... Like... I, well, well, yeah, actually, I do, now that I think about it. Whenever I knock on my brother's room, I usually wait. But sometimes I do, kind of, hypocritically, fall into the same category of just freaking opening the door. Sometimes without even knocking. But, whatever. Uh, uh where are we? Uh, yeah. What are you doing? I'm uh, practicing sign language. How long have you been standing there? I did not see anything. That isn't the point, so I don't even know what he means by that. It's not like I was doing something that I would be ashamed to have people see me doing. Although sign language must look strange to most people, I'm only used to it from being around Jazini and Misha so much. I'm brushing up on my sign language and reading about it too. Stuff like the history of it, even though they cover it in sign language class. The school teaches sign language as a, cl as a class? Yeah, one of the first things they brought up was that it's not very common to do that. I guess we're very international or something. Looks fun. Well, I wouldn't call it fun. We do not enjoy this. It seems like a lot of work to go through just to talk to my sister. Why does everyone keep saying that? Hideaki's mouth twitches like he was about to laugh, but he restrains himself. Come to think of it, he hasn't laughed once since I've met him. I could take it as a compliment that he doesn't laugh at me, but I'm curious to see it. Laugh. Why? It was the fastest and most direct way I could think of towards accomplishing my goal. Can you teach me sign language? He says it plainly, but his body language is nervous, showing that he clearly needs to put some effort in to ask. Yes, Hideaki likes his sister after all. I'd think Misha is a lot more approachable though, so I wonder why he didn't ask her. Good point. You know what? This freaking pose... Like, his posture has a girlish kind of look to it. Well, he has a girlish look to him in general, really. But you know what it reminds me of? It feels like if Sunohara's sister Mei from Clanid and Nagisa from Clanid somehow morphed into one. I don't know. It just seems weird, but that's how I feel. The antenna hair and just... I just... I don't know, man. Secretly, I'm shouting YES inside. I had thought he wanted to learn sign language and he even brought it up. But he evaded the subject skillfully. Turns out I was right after all. I don't really know why this makes me so pleased. Sure. But now that I think about it, it's not sign language. I'm um, uh, not a sign language teacher. I don't even know where to start. In class, I'd be learning stuff gradually over a week. Does Hideaki expect me to teach him anything usable in a one day crash course? You know, that's how I felt with a Japanese course today when they went through that. It's like, there's just so much information to take in on this freaking other second part of it, this course thing, like the next level up. Because, like, it went over the alphabet, and I was like, ah, 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 ah. This all makes sense to me now, because, like, the Vocaloid software, whenever I'd use the Japanese version, I'd, like, uh, notice like sometimes like I just be like okay I want you to like say this like not an actual word or anything but uh what are they called Linux or some shit whatever it is and that's how the Vocaloid software essentially works so I'd like okay I want you to say want you to do a kind of ooh or some shit you know like ooh but oh doesn't work because that's not how it is and you're in the pronunciation on it, like the different ones, like, for example, ha is actually wa, something like that. It's just like, why? Confusing, man. It's just weird. Uh, anyways, uh, blah, 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 blah. My teacher spent a couple of days just giving a history of sign language. I decided to start off with that to buy some time while I figured out how I can... Get into the hard stuff. How is that word pronounced? Segway? <laughs> I would have never thought that, honestly. 
I just like, you know when you freaking Google a word and it'll come up with a definition and sometimes you can click to like for it to voice it. You didn't do that with that one as well, just put it to trans Google Translate. It came up with Portuguese at first. Okay, so I figured out how I can segue, I'm not even sure really, but whatever, it into the hard stuff. Five minutes in, Hideaki raises his hand. I don't understand what you're doing. Uh, well, you can't just jump into teaching, you know. You have to ease it in, uh, ease into it. It's like when you go swimming, you don't just jump in a lake like in some movie. Do not swim. It's like scientists managed to create a process to suck out all the hyperactive, infuriating, and childish qualities of a small child, then implant them into the dad, creating a raging jerk dad, and leaving behind hideaki. I begin to feel claustrophobic despite the fact that the guest room is three times bigger than my dorm room and there's just the two of us in here. It's all in my head, I know it, and I don't care. I still use it as an excuse to move the lesson outside. You know, my room's pretty cramped. So that's probably... well... It's <laughs> just like, oh, that's the reason for my stress. Well... If it was, then I would be stressed all the time, essentially. Maybe my room being, you know, a bit of a mess, maybe that could add to it, but I don't know. It's a very small room. Well, yeah, it is a small room, but it could be cleaner. Definitely could be. It's a lot easier to concentrate out here. Even the precious few seconds it took to relocate managed to allow me to sort my thoughts. There were no questions during this time. Hideaki can't seem to talk and walk at the same time. I used to be bad at that as well. Eventually, however, I start to realize that if I'm going to teach him anything, I have to keep the lesson constantly moving. The second there's an opening for it, he'll ask a question, which will lead to more questions, then there's no end to it. The second time he asks me why a certain hand motion means, uh, means what it does, and I have to reach deep into my memory to look for... Uh, Etymology. Etymology. Okay. Wait, so is the Y silent then? Etymology. I don't know about a gesture I only knew about a month longer than him. I start looking for an out. Hideaki, let's take a break. Okay. What is your school like? This kid is a little like a, he's like a little reporter, but it makes sense for someone his age to be curious, and this is one question I don't mind. What's it like? I never really thought about it. It's on top of this mountain, so it feels kind of isolated and lonely up there sometimes, even though that's also why it has a pretty great view. Students there are interesting. Actually, I felt bad at first. You know what kind of school it is, right? Yes. I felt bad because I didn't want to go, but, uh, go there. I don't even remember exactly what I was thinking at the time. Probably it was something like a school for crippled people would be a depressing place. They were telling me to go to be forgotten there. Then everyone there was just living their lives for the most part. So I felt even worse. It wasn't, I, it wasn't different at all, so I felt like kind of a jerk. Suna was the first person I met. She's in the, she's in most of my classes. Misha too. They're always together. I guess school is accommodating enough to pair them up as much as possible. There's this girl in my class, Hanako, whom I feel bad for. She has these burns and seems to have a complex about them, but I think she looks fine. She's a cute girl and friends with Lily too. You know Lily, right? Does she bring up Hanako? Yes, sometimes. I'm trying to remember who else is interested. We have a little track star, Ace, who runs on these prosthetics. There's this one girl, Rin, who doesn't have arms, but she's a great painter. All around has this harsh, alive body. Have you ever been to Yamaku? You've probably seen some of it hanging around. A little weird sometimes, but I've always heard that artistic and creative types are like that. It reminds me, the guy who lives across the hall from me is pretty weird too. But he can be interesting, at least. You are also interesting. Is that... is this bad? And what's... what's with that tone? What does that even mean? You saying I'm weird, Hideaki? You talk a lot. My first instinct is to go on the defensive, but the more I think about it, he has a point. That's right, I do talk a lot, so I don't think I used to. I think it's probably because of all the time I spend around Shizune and Misha. Talking with them, I get caught up in all their circular logic and just how they do everything. 
feel like I'm going to be drowned out or left behind. My sister can drown you out. It's not like she's literally talking over me and stuff, obviously. It's hard to explain. You have more energy than I do. It's like an aggressiveness. I don't feel like I have to match it, but I want to. I think maybe your sister has that effect on people. Do you look up to your sister? He stares at me blankly, tense and confused as to how to react to the question. I will be better than Shitsune. Better at what? At everything. Like what? I can do magic tricks. You mean like telling people you've got their nose or more like the kind of magic where you pull a rabbit out of your ass? He doesn't look happy. Someday I will see Hideyaki laugh. I might just try tickling him if I have to. Ah oh, man, not you. The back door flies open and Jigaro strides out of it, keeping his back straight and talk, taking giant slur regal strides like either a king or a huge jackass. Same thing, right? <laughs> I try to turn away using the train of logic that if I can't see him, you know... <laughs> Imagine if, like, this was hundreds of years ago, and you make a comment like that while there's still a king in power. You're just like, TAKE HIM! EXECUTE HIM! Just like, ah. I try to turn away using the train of logic that if I can't see him, he can't see me. Unfortunately, it doesn't pan out, and he comes over so fast it's like he appeared out of the air over my shoulder. Does he always carry that damn sword around? Oh ho! What's up here? What are you two doing? Flailing your hands around. Playing cats cradle like a bunch of girls. I'm teaching Hideaki some sign language. Uh, what about you, Mr. Akamichi? He narrows his eyes suspiciously, if, as if he's not used to people being polite to him. I'm writing an autobiography of my life and times. And by writing, I mean I am dictating it to my biographer. Unfortunately, she is running late. Unprofessional. Perhaps you should read it when it's published later this year. I can put you on the waiting list. Maybe it will give you the moral compass you seem to lack in your life, and inspire you to stop sucking. It can't be sustainable for him to be so casually insulting to everyone. Though Hideaki is likely too detached to even notice, Zene is deaf and most of the insults must fly over Misha's head. But surely Akira must have an opinion on this. What? But surely, Akra must have an opinion on us. What about Lily? Well, actually, Lily's... Well, she can hear the tone of his voice and all that. So I guess Akra could, you know, get the tone of his voice and his ridiculous appearance as well, I guess. I'll try not to think about it. If he's doing this to psych me out, then I have to stay calm or he wins. He must absolutely, definitely not win. This must be how Shizune feels. What, is even their dad competitive in his own way then? How old are you? Damn it, man, don't ask him questions, he'll get pissed off. 46. Oh, he's not pissed off then. That doesn't seem old enough to justify writing a biography. I mean, shit, man, you're, you're going to freaking get a shit response for that. That's not even old. So most people start writing their memoirs a lot later than that. Shut up, boy! I'm going to give you advice. Do not talk about matters of age with people older than you. You are less than half my age. You have no right to talk about old. I have an also older than you. You should get that checked out. He might have a point, though. He is definitely older than I am. Oh, wait. Even if we were the same age, I wouldn't have to explain myself to you, sweater vest. Uh, why do you make that noise? You mad? Well, obviously, good. Your sweater is terrible, and I want you to feel bad about it. The burn tells me it's working. I like my sweater. I'm sure you like huffing glue, too. That doesn't make it right. I don't huff glue. Where do you get the impression I do? There's slander. I wonder how Hideaki knows what slander is. Maybe Jigoro is a lawyer. I can sort of see that. Although I thought only TV lawyers were this antagonistic. I don't know if I should take the chance and ask if that's his job. He is right, it is slander. Are you a lawyer? I was guessing, I guess, based on the fact that you're stupid. It's like how are you assuming I'm a lawyer? Ah, it's like how you are assuming I'm a lawyer. Except you have no reason to think that. You want to know what I do so badly? Why don't you pre order my autobiography? Now you are insulting my book. And by, ex 
Thanks in my entire life. What gives you the right to do that? Arrogant. I'm trying to think of how I could make you understand my struggle. Maybe by beating you with my autobiography. This guy is ridiculous. I hope you walk away from that beating having learned a valuable lesson, like not making assumptions. Assault. But he made an assumption too, that I huffed glue. I consider calling him out on this glaring example of hypocrisy. But I don't think it's worth it. He would probably explain his way out of it by saying, SHUT UP BOY! Back in my day, children were seen and not heard. A demeanor adult meant having experienced many hardships. With even a glance, people could instantly judge a man's character. Childhood existed only to temper you for adulthood. Remember when Sao said that same thing? The, with the children were seen and not heard or something like that? And asked if any I can do what I mean? Well, this is how then, I'd imagine. When you look at me, can you not see the catalogue of my experiences even at a glance? Uh, maybe were you a sword fighter? You could also be a lion and a werewolf. Uh, wait, didn't you tell me before not to make assumptions? Now you just asked me to assume stuff. And you're saying everyone, uh, everyone when you were my age, uh, that had to be in like the 80s. That wasn't even that long ago. I'm ready to give him a piece of my mind. You got some balls to be doing that. I mean, he's muscular and he's got a sword. He's got a heck of a temper. We're taking, if we're talking like he had to walk 15 miles in the snow to ride a uh, coal train, that he had to shovel coal into himself before climbing up a mountain while fighting over to get to school. Wait, what? Again, like he, oh, for talking like that. Well, you never know. But now that I finally want to fight, Shigoro is happy to have a good thing going, just continuing to ramble about how difficult it was growing up one generation ago, twirling his sword like a baton and stopping occasionally to yawn or check the time. The tardiness of his autobiographer is still foremost in his mind. This means the whole time he's been insulting me, he must have been doing it just to pass the time. To add insult to insult, his watch is also really nice. When I was your age, kids had responsibilities. Not like today. Sickening. No one thinks about the consequences of their actions anymore. They just do whatever they want, thinking no one will hold them accountable since they're young. It's odd. That description could fit you in here, Misha. I thought something similar on yesterday. It only fits them slightly. Look at yourself. An amoral, directionless, delinquent, glue sniffer with a complete lack of etiquette and absolutely no fashion sense. You are tomorrow's Japan. Disgraceful. Is this the future of this once great country? I know someone you would get along with. Well, well with. Don't interrupt. Who? One of your friends. Why would I want to talk to some awful teenager? Have you even been listening? Why so rude, boy? Your attitude is not one that would make you a lot of friends. I could say the same to you, mate. I wish you would stop giving me so much advice. Or at least I wish he would give me advice that he would have the decency to adhere to himself. Where have you been? Huh? Not you, idiot! Oops, I didn't notice you there. She then smiles and gives a short wave. Her arrival made Jigoro stop talking, so I'm already happy to see her for that reason alone. Misha and I decided to go into town again. Hisawa, I noticed you were looking at some clothes yesterday in the store window. And I thought that I would go back and buy some of them for you. It was supposed to be a surprise, though. She looks annoyed that the surprise is ruined, even though she ruined it herself. Here you go. Thanks. Misha wanted to cut her hair. I told her not to, but she said it was too hot for the summer. What? It can't be. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That makes a lot of sense to me. It must be like an oven under there. I want to see it. Where is Misha anyway? Over here! Hi, Hei Chan! Hi, Mr. Shi Chan's father! Hi, Hideaki! Hi, Mr. Shi Chan's father? Does she not know his name? What the fuck? Misha runs around us once in a wide circle before stopping next to Shizere. For the first time, she hasn't put her hands over my eyes, although now I see she has her bags of her own to carry. So it's not like she could have even if she wanted to, although I'm positive she's tried before. Her meticulously styled curls are gone now, in favor of a much shorter, sportier look. Misha looks even happier than usual, probably because she knows she won't have to wake up at the crack of dawn every morning just to do her hair. 
What is that haircut? You look like an intern. Your old haircut merely made you look like you were wearing a pink judge wig. Judge her intern is a huge emotion. So, is he saying something insulting? Tell him not to insult my friends. Don't insult my friends. Which one of you is talking? Uh, both of us. I agree with her. Hey, <laughs> what do you think he can? You should have kept it like it was. Ah, uh, he chan you look disappointed. You don't like it either? Well, yeah, I'll admit I kind of liked your old haircut more, but I think this one is nice too. It suits you. Ah, oh, thanks, he chan Touching, if you like it so much, maybe you two should trade. You can't trade a haircut. What a shame, even our old haircut would suit you so much more than your current slacker haircut. Awful, as for you. Hmm, actually, this is much less garish than the, uh, your other haircut. I like it. <laughs> really? Thanks, Mr. Shichan's dad! It's Mr. Hakimichi. Talk like a normal person. Like me! <laughs> mm, I don't understand. Okay, okay. I'll call you Mr. Hakimichi. Ah, it's like speaking to a slide whistle. Contemplate. Hello, you know, where's my biographer? Hideaki! He starts quietly muttering to himself and walks off. I guess a wannabe cranky old man like Jigoro would at the very least be hesitant to yell at girls. Suddenly he doubles back, unable to resist his urge to have the last word. I don't know, Finn. You do not have to be so loud. I do not like being shouted at. What? Shouting? I'm not shouting! I can't think of anyone more unqualified to talk about what's garish or to chastise someone else on shouting at people. It's like a parade of hypocrisies and hits just keep coming. An unusual reaction seems to be taking place. Mr. Brantley finds Shigoro funny and laughs pretty much every time he says something. Which only makes him berate her harder. I guess it's what they call a vicious cycle. Misha's voice is punctuated with explosions of laughter and seems to come from everywhere. On the other hand, Jigoro is booming and directed like a cannon, in any case. They are both unbelievably loud. The more they talk to each other, the more they seem to play off each other's volume and get louder. Ow, my ears hurt! WHY ARE YOU SHOUTING?! Kazune has hands wrapped around my eyes from behind. Something I'm so used to Misha doing that for the first time I find myself confused by it since Misha is in front of me. She lets go and holds a finger up to her lips. What a perfect distraction. Now's our opportunity. Let's sneak off. Why do we have to sneak off? Why not just walk off? It wouldn't be so fun. It's decided. It's a secret mission. Escape without being detected. Extract Hideyaki for bonus points. Already she has simplified the situation into a game. Shizune quietly slides away from the scene and begins edging towards the house. I walk towards it normally.